I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, the easiest way to get living on a Bitcoin standard. Head to their website and pick up gift cards for great places like Amazon, Apple, DoorDash, prepaid MasterCards, and plenty more. You can check them out at the links down below. You know, I think it's very interesting, the ability to put like time locks and different spending conditions on Bitcoin because it's very unique to Bitcoin, like you said. And Bitcoin is programmable money. And so we can have these really interesting schemes related to multi-sig with time locks on them. And it allows us to do all different kinds of things that you just can't do with any other asset. So it's another way that Bitcoin kind of differentiates itself from every single other financial asset in the world. And, you know, I just think of things like, an insurance policy, for instance, like you could have a situation where it could be programmed that the Bitcoin becomes unlocked after a certain time period of an insurance policy, mm -hmm. or you could have a lawyer have access to a key uh, for a certain amount of time of the contract. And then once it's up, you know, it can, it can unlock or it could lock and he doesn't have access anymore. So you can do like really interesting things. And I think that'll improve just the, the custody of Bitcoin itself. Like you can have more like institutional grade custody solutions where there's more uh, distribution of the risk and that'll allow different kind of schemes to come up and different products and actually make it safer for, for people to hold Bitcoin and transfer, transfer it to different generations over time. Because right now, you know, I look at the, you know, multi-sig, um, schemes as well as you know multi-party computation all these different ones that are used and a lot of the ways it's it's like we're using bitcoin like gold or something mm -hmm. where a lot of times it's just like held in a vault and it depends on human processes but mm -hmm. if you can actually have programmable schemes that can't be tampered with with or it's actually programmed to unlock mm -hmm. at a certain time that in itself is is an innovation in custody and it's very unique to Bitcoin. So I think it's very early days. Um, we're just kind of scratching the surface about what we can do with these things. Um, mm -hmm. But it makes me incredibly bullish about, about the future. Anything that like involves innovation around custody or inheritance with Bitcoin, I think that's uncharted territory. And I think it, we need to build better solutions. So super bullish on it.